click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida Hi friends, in the previous lecture we have understood that is how we can convert an alcohol to an ether and related to that we are going to talk about the mechanism of dehydration of ether also. Now let's get started. So friends, in this topic we are going to talk about the mechanism for the acidic dehydration of ethanol. So now for that let me explain you the general reaction first and then on we are going to move towards the and then we are going to discuss about the number of steps that are been involved during the conversion of an alcohol to an ether. So therefore the general reaction for the dehydration of ethanol is nothing but if we consider that is C2H5 and that also excess amount of C2H5 that is two moles of C2H5 and suppose if we are reacting it with sulfuric acid and that also with a temperature of that is 413 Kelvin and this is the ratio that we have did earlier only. So therefore the product that we could get is nothing but C2H5 O C2H5 and with that of the byproduct that would be nothing but H2O. So therefore the product that we have obtained is nothing but a diethyl ether. But if we talk about the mechanism then in mechanism we will get to know that is H2SO4 or this acidic condition is what it can be regenerated and that's the reason that it is known as acidic dehydration of ethanol. So now let me discuss about that is what is the mechanism behind this reaction. So now let's get started with that also. So friends now we are going to talk about the steps that have been involved in the mechanism for the acidic dehydration of alcohol. So now let me talk about the first step that is step number one. So in this case we have to consider the ethanol that is CH3 CH3 OH I would write it in this way. Obviously, we understood in the general reaction that is this alcohol should be treated with H2SO4. So that's the reason that this is the acidic condition that is we are writing over here as H+. So in this case, we see this is a fast reaction that it will occur in step number one. And as we understand that is the oxygen which is partially negative charge and obviously it will that is this H plus ion it will get attack on the oxygen atom and thereby the following product that we could get is nothing but CH3. CH3 O H and this is the proton that is H plus ion that has attacked the oxygen atom and here if you observe then this oxygen atom has basically three valency and that's the reason that it will acquire a positive charge on it. So therefore what we did is we have made a proton to attack on the alcohol and it has attacked on the oxygen atom. So thereby this kind of step or the step that we are going to name it is nothing but so this kind of step is basically known as protonation of alcohol. So therefore we could write the name of the step number one as protonation of alcohol. So this was the first step and now let us come back to the next one that is step two. So now talking about the step number two. So in the first step we have considered that is first molecule of alcohol and now in this step we are going to talk about the second molecule of alcohol and that is nothing but that is we could write it as CH3 CH2 OH so this is what I am considering the second molecule of alcohol but now the second molecule of alcohol it will be treated with the product that has been formed in this step number one so the four, the product that has been formed in step number one is nothing but a protonated alcohol so even that we could write it as that is CH3 CH2 here it is O H and this is the H that was being protonated and this is the H that had made the alcohol to get a protonated alcohol and now this oxygen which will have a positive charge on it. So in this case basically the alcohol that is what we have and obviously the alcohol consists of the oxygen atom that will have a lone pair of electron that is two lone pair of electron and now because of which this oxygen it will help in the nucleophilic attack towards the second alcohol and thereby moving this two electron on the oxygen atom. So therefore the product that we will form over here obviously this is a reversible process and this is a very slow process and that's the reason that the product that we could get is nothing but CH3 CH2 O this is H and this whole thing it will attack to CH2 CH3 and that is the reason that the product that we could get that we could get is nothing but CH2 CH3 and here basically the water it will be removed out. So therefore 
again but if you talk about the product then again the oxygen which you will have that is three valency obviously it will acquire a positive charge on it so therefore this step will have a particular name and that is nothing but attack of the second alcohol on the protonated alcohol so that is how we see the reaction proceeds and this is nothing but an SN2 process and so this is the product that we have got in step number two and now let's talk about the step number three So if we consider the step number three, then we should also consider the step number two. So therefore, the product that we have obtained in step number two is nothing but CH3, CH2, O, CH2, CH3, and it was basically hydrogen atom, and the oxygen that acquired a positive charge on it. So in this process, basically, as we can see, that is this molecule is very unstable because the oxygen acquires a positive charge, and obviously, this reaction will proceed in such a manner that is to deprotonate this thing, that is to deprotonate the H plus ion, and this is how we see the reaction proceeds, and the product that we could get is it is a faster process. First of all, let me talk about that also, and the product that we could get is nothing but CH3, CH2, O, CH2, CH3. And here basically the H plus ion it will be removed out as a byproduct. So therefore this is the product that we have got in step number three and the product is nothing but a simple ether that is known as diethyl ether. But if you observe that this H plus ion is again produced so therefore this is a part of a continuous etherification process and the name of the step three is nothing but formation of diethyl ether. So this was nothing but acidic dehydration of ethanol and that was the mechanism related to that one and now that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i will see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe channel. thank you so much